Hey, what is going on guys? It's Pharaoh. This is episode 14 of the Epic 7 Beginner Guide, free to play 2023. Um, and today's episode is going to be cut up into probably two different parts. Um, so I did finish building uh, Tamarin, Isaria, and Adventurer Raz. Um, and I'm going to show them first. <clears throat> the second half of the video is going to be going through uh, Asmanac, the Haunt Dungeon, and seeing if with the build that I have currently, I can beat Asmanac 13. I'm going from 1 to 13 right now. It is 4 o'clock here, um, where I live right now, 4 o'clock p.m., so we will see how long that takes to uh, get to uh, Asmanac 13 and just see if we can finish it. So, uh, Adventure Raz has Aureus on. It's at plus 18. <clears throat> so that's literally just pulling two copies of, uh, of Aureus and putting one copy into the other. Um, so he takes 16% of the damage uh, that would be suffered by other allies. He also increases the defense of all allies by 10%. Um, his stats are right here. His skill ups are plus 2, plus 2, and plus 2 across the board. Um, so that's fine there. You can just go all in for it if you want to to get extra damage. I eventually will. Uh, that'll probably be the next thing that I do. Um, and then the sword looks like this. I'll just go through and show all the different pieces here. The helmet is, um, the speed is good. It's nice to have effect resistance as well, and I don't mind the crit damage even, um, but the flat attack is kind of rough, and it, it just would have been nicer to have um, maybe a higher roll into crit damage uh, than this one here. And then I am going uh, critical hit chance on the necklace. It is only plus 10 so far because I ran out of ancient coins. Um, but with the team that I have here, Aeros, Tamarin, Iseria, and Vildred, I'll be um, able to get through Labyrinth pretty quickly. Um, then we have this one here. It's just plus 9. This is pretty trash. It, it just needs to be replaced. And then I have health percent here as well. So um, he's okay. He's not great. Um, obviously, as I continue to farm uh, Wyvern, um, he'll get better. Uh, I almost wonder about if I could put like a crit damage set on him um, and just go for a bruiser build because I mean this is just straight damage dealt on all of these skills and his his damage is based off of his max health so I wonder if I could put some decent damage together uh, you can just build him to be tanky though that's totally fine um, I'm just playing around with some, some stuff there uh, Tamarin here uh, these are her total stats. Um, Rod of Amaryllis, plus 15. Uh, if you don't have Rod of Amaryllis, most of you won't. Um, you can run... Um, if you were here for the event, you could even run this, the Flawless Garments thing, get extra effect resistance, and then she gets a bunch of effectiveness as you go along. Um, I just got this one too, uh, Stella Harp, which is kind of cool. I, I wonder if this artifact works for AoE attacks. If any of you know, please tell me. Um, it has a 30% chance to dispel one debuff from an ally after being attacked. Um, I don't know if that means that once the ally is attacked, it has a chance, or once the caster is attacked, then it can dispel debuffs off the ally. Uh, but what I'm wondering is if, if it's an AoE attack, do you have a chance to dispel one debuff from everyone on the team? Um, I don't know if that's how that works, um, but that would be cool. Uh, Magahara's Tome can work, uh, increases com combat readiness after using a non-attack skill. <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend this one though, this is going to screw up your speed tuning with Isaria. Uh, Wondrous Potion Vial is a pretty good option, dispels debuffs from an ally. Um, you can always go Prophetic Candlestick. Uh, yeah, there's there's an artifact in here that's missing. There's a four-star artifact for Soul Weavers that I just don't think is here at the moment that works fine. I don't know. Uh, you can go Prophetic Candlestick, though, um, and that'll work <clears throat> as well. Um, I mean, even Water's Origin. Most most of the Soul Weaver artifacts work just fine on Tamara. It's not a big deal. Uh, but it is nice to um, have the extra healing because she does have two non-attack skills. Um, and then these are her uh, stats here. So that's a pretty that's a decent piece. Uh, there was nice defense there too. This turned out pretty well. This is one of those pieces that you get for free um, from playing the game. Uh, it's from the hunt event. This one is, I think. Um, uh, if some of you guys were asking where I got the attack set pieces for Sigrid. 
it's the same place I got these health pieces for Tamarin. I, I used a bunch of uh, materials. You get a bunch of free material chests. You get 700 of materials for some particular dungeon. I chose to use a bunch for Golem to make a good attack set for Cigarette. It was a really terrible choice. You should use all of them to get um, gear for from the Wyvern Hunt. You can get speed gear that way, and that works on pretty much everything. You can get... and it work, uh, Speed gear works on Cigarette as well. Um makes her easier to build like you could potentially run an attack boot here instead of a speed boot if you had the speed set on her um so yeah that was just a massive screw up on my part just i would just pick the wyvern pieces and then go for the boots rings necklaces chests helmets swords all of them um some balance of all of them uh i would put a little more focus here because you have to get the right main stat whereas over here you just have to try to get a couple good sub stats that work um, but yeah, this boot was, was, uh, pretty nice. It rolled not well, but, um, it was so good to begin with anyway that it's, it's still a pretty decent, uh, boot there. And then, oh, uh, Tamarin, her skill up is just into, uh, skill two here. I maxed this out. I'm not going to worry about this because Isaria should be taking care of this anyway. And then you can do the first skill if you want. Uh, weird fact about her. Her attack is ridiculously high. Her attack is almost 1,000 at base. Like, Vildred's, for instance, is, I think, 1,300 at base. And, I mean, Tamarin is... She does do an AoE attack when she's in idle mode. I almost wonder if she's meant to... Because this does a sh ton of damage here, too. Or it should, based on the amount of damage multipliers you have. It might not hit hard. I don't know. You could almost go a, a hybrid build on Tamarin and, and crank out crit damage on her. I'm going to play with some things moving forward, but I just needed to get the sets on um, and get something together and running. Um, and what I have here is fine. And then Isaria uh, has a pretty decent gear here. I did end up um, reforging this piece because it rolled pretty well. Um, so a lot of uh, effectiveness, attack percentage, uh, and uh, effect resistance, and then the crit chance is cool too. Um, that's just whatever. I mean, blue pieces are never going to be fantastic, but it's, it's, this is probably as good as it's going to get. I mean, plus 11 speed. That's, uh, two rolls of four and a three roll on a blue piece. That's pretty nice. Um, and then, uh, some good effectiveness, crit damage, speed here, defense. Like, this is something that you could look at reforging because it does have, um, fantastic, like, effectiveness and, and crit damage. Um, but you, you might want to save your reforges for, for like epic gear, I don't know. I don't. I don't think there's a problem doing it on heroic stuff either. Um, it's personal preference, but yeah. And then she's got a crit chance uh, piece here as well. Um, health on the ring with a bunch of effectiveness there. That was pretty nice to pick that up. And then speed here, and this was reforged. So she's got like not great crit damage, but she's got good crit rate. Um, and I mean, as long as she's attacking a bunch anyway, uh, it's. I. I think it makes sense to run her around with some crit chance is a hybrid the question here was the artifact for me personally i couldn't figure out what to do i'm probably just going to do exorcist tanfa because um oh that's if the target's health is uh, above that uh t well ronin's uh, memorandum works for her she just gets more speed over time um basic damp skill damage is fine if the target's health is 50% or more, I'm not a huge fan of that, though. I didn't realize that that was conditional on Exorcist Anfa. Um, some other good stuff is like Infinity Basket, if you had an extra copy. Mine is on Furious at the moment. Um, if I had Song of Stars, I'd have Song of Stars on Furious and throw Infinity Basket on uh, Isaria. Um, I mean, it's Song of Stars is fantastic on Isaria as well, because you're using her for so many uh, different areas of content that having a target when you're attacking bosses is just, it's it's awesome so song of stars is good for her too um this one increases her own dual attack chance um andre's crossbow increases hit chance and effectiveness like this could be decent this could definitely be a reasonable choice um i have this one as well increases effectiveness by 20 percent and has a chance to uh after a non-attack skill you have a chance to um, grant stealth to yourself uh, but yeah, I think realistically for most people, Ronan's Memorandum is going to be the the three star you probably use, and then one of these three here for Rangers. I'm just gonna throw on um, uh, 
I'm going to go with this one. Because she has enough effectiveness. Yeah, she has 78 effectiveness, so... Um, just, uh... Just her own dual attack is fine. And then that gives her an extra... An even better chance, I guess, of... Um... Landing the defense break. More opportunities there. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to... I wouldn't put that up too much. Um... But yeah, anyway, Vildred, I think I've shown before, but he's on um, sort of Summer Twilight. He has the free set that you get. He needs zero effectiveness, so if you can try to not get effectiveness on him, that's the right thing to do. Um, but yeah, th these are not great, obviously, level 70. Um, and, and, an obvious upgrade would just be getting level um, uh, 85 on. This is pretty good because the speed is so high. Um, I mean, it, it all rolled into speed in the first three rolls, so, um, I mean, this particular one is actually fantastic, and I'll probably keep that for a while, unless I can, I don't know, the speed rolled pretty well in all the gear, honestly, like, there's 10 here, 12 here, I thought this got, yeah, a roll into that, um, so, yeah, anyway, uh, I'm gonna just show you guys here, um, that I have not done Asmanac at all. I am at level stage one here. I'm going to just speed through this and see um, if we can do Asmanac 13 with that build today. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm sitting here. It is 4:36. I started this recording at four o'clock. It took me 11 and a half minutes to explain the uh, troops and or the the heroes, the way they were built. Um, so it took me about 20 to 25 minutes to defeat Asmanac 1 to Asmanac 12, so we're going to get this going, and uh, yeah. Um, I'm still a little confused about how Isaria's second skill works. Um, it I almost wonder if it doesn't prioritize it when it's available. Um, I don't know. Uh, but I do know as long as I turn off Adventure Raz and Vildred skills, it seems like she has reset the cooldown on Tamarin every single time. So we'll just go through here and do this. Um, I think I might have to take Isaria and Adventure Raz off of the crit chance they have. So right there she did reset Tamarin's cooldown. I thought I saw Isaria resetting her own cooldown when all of the skills were available for everyone, or she was doing it randomly to whatever ally, um, I don't know, um, also need to do more testing with that, with the skills off and with the skills on, but for the first run we're doing here, I'm just going to try with the skills off and see how this goes. Um, a massive issue that I am having with this team um, just because of my own personal gear, is Vildred is missing a lot of crits. I think he's got 60 to 66% crit chance. Vildred definitely needs 100% crit chance. Uh, it's extremely irritating watching him miss crits. Um, another thing is that uh, it's just the health. I think it's just the health and defense percentage on Adventurer Raz and Isaria. They've been getting a bit low in some of these fights. Um, they haven't died uh, they didn't die in 11 or 12, um, but it is getting concerningly low. Um, and then also, um, part of the issue with Vildred is also his uh, necklace and ring, once again, are not uh, plus 15, they're at plus 9, and they're level 70. Um, something odd about this boss is this damage reduction decreases damage suffered by single attacks by 80%, unaffected by any effects related to buffs. I don't know if that means it's not strippable. I feel like I've watched it be stripped, or it's some percentage of damage you have to do, and then the buff comes off on its own. Um, so I need to try to figure out how the damage reduction works. If you guys know, you could just tell, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, I don't know. I don't understand what's going on with this this um, damage reduction buff though. Because it just seems to disappear at random. I, I'm not even using skills that strip. It just is gone. So uh, it's kind of... That's a weird one. Um, in this boss, you definitely want to be able to strip off the Berserk, though. Obviously, stripping the crit chance buff off of Asmanac uh, 13 is fantastic. 
but um, that Berserk buff will come back and obliterate you if that thing gets too high and you haven't stripped it. I have three strips in this team. Raz's skill 1, Isaria's skill 3, and Tamarin's skill 1 when she's in idle mode. All of them do strips. Um, the, the Berserk should not get past the second level of Berserk ever. The Berserk buff uh, for the boss is right here. Uh, Berserk level 1, and then it increases... Um, attack, defense, and speed, uh, you can just, um, if for some reason you want to see all the different faces, you can put a unit in your team that doesn't do a strip, and you can just see how it rises, and see how your team gets absolutely shredded by the boss when it attacks you, when it's at Berserk level 5, I think is max, I think it goes to level 5, um, but so far, so good. Um, this run has been uh, fantastic. Uh, Vildred has been hitting his crits. Um, yeah, I mean, some of that is just luck. I definitely need to uh, uh, make his gear better, though. Um, I forgot to show it earlier, but Vildred does have plus 15 for his uh, skill ups. He's completely skilled up. I'll show Isaria's as well. Um, if I, I I don't think I showed Isaria's skill up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back in and show hers once we're done here, but. Yeah, and then I'll show Vildred's anyway, but... Um, yeah, so far so good. I... There don't, doesn't seem to be too many problems here. Um, Raz's ring is still level 9, I think, so... Getting that to plus 15 would definitely add a lot of health onto him as well. And then same thing with Isaria. Her ring is level 12, I think, and... Or, yeah, it's plus 12 or plus 13. And so getting it to plus 15 will be um, a pretty substantial difference. Um, I mean, in this game, like like any gacha game, I mean, there's a massive difference between, um, say, uh, having like 35% health and having 50% health. The, the I mean, 15% is massive. 10, 40% to 50%. It's a massive. Um, it's a massive difference. And then, you know, in the end game, once you get to uh, like the end of of arena, you're in the top. 300 we'll say top 500 of arena um and you know top 500 rta or whatever top 300 rta um the differences in a win or a loss are sometimes as easy as picks and bans which i'm not saying is easy but also um just one percent or two percent extra stats on your gear could be the difference in a win in rta and uh, late game uh, arena, the end of the arena uh, ladder or whatever. So yeah, um, we're almost there though. This is a long run. Um, I'd like to farm this for rage gear. I mean, this seems like a really long time to farm though, so I don't know. Uh, I'm take a little taken aback by that. Uh, when my Vildred's damage is better, it'll be faster, but even so... It has taken quite a while to get through this run. I think this has been uh, almost... It's been six and a half minutes. I think it's been six and a half minutes that this run has been taking. I don't really want to run six to seven minute runs for this dungeon. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, it's like it seemed pretty stable there. I didn't think I was in danger of dying at any point. Um, but yeah, I'd love to just get that Rage set in here and then get back into Wyvern. The Rage set is fantastic for, um, Sigrid for Wyvern 13. But, uh, I'll just show those, uh, skill ups here on Iceria because I don't know what skills they went into. And then again, Vildred is plus 15 there. Uh, his exclusive equipment would be pretty helpful to get 14% extra attack. I mean, that's a lot. Um, and then... I would get the uh, Blade Dance one when an enemy is defeated, increases combat readiness of the caster by an additional 5%. Um, he is far enough behind Isaria and Tamarin that there should be no issue with him getting the extra combat readiness and going ahead of them uh, ever. And then his skill 3 is obviously turned off for Asmanac. It'll probably be turned off for Labyrinth as well. Uh, and then also maybe even Banshee. Uh, well, I'm probably not going to run Tamarin, Isaria, and Banshee. I don't know, I could play around with it, but um, definitely the skill 2 is going to be a more useful one for him being in team settings like Asmanac and Labyrinth. Um, uh, but the the second and third skills would probably be a lot better for like Arena and, uh, and Farming Adventure, so uh, sort of a toss-up there. 
but then yeah her skill ups are f plus four just to get the effect chance and plus two here this is not this has to be this way i mean they have to you have to have these amount of skill ups in here and then this one is uh, to three to get that cooldown uh down so uh yeah anyway uh this yeah this is the skill that uh debuffs anyway this is uh that's all for this video ended up being 20 minutes i guess i'm not shocked but uh anyway uh if you guys had any questions if i missed anything i uh, just leave a comment down below um uh, but i think that's all for this video i hope all of you enjoyed and i'll see everybody next time